Well, hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for July 31st through August 6th. So, actually, I am going to do it a little differently. I want to split it up this week. We're going to split it up as um, love, career, money, and then a special message for the week or something you need to know about this week. So we're going to try it, see how it works. I just got the vibe. So. Okay. So we have gratuity, being gracious, abundant mindset, high frequency, positivity, attracting what you want. And then we have twin flames. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, and uh, complement each other. Okay, and then we have the eight of wands, the four of swords, and the ace of coins. And two cards, fly, a period of ill health, depression, and time to get out of a situation. Mm. Some of you got out of a rough relationship. I just feel like it wasn't, um, I'm going to say this, but I feel like it wasn't emotionally fulfilling. I feel like you learned a lot of things about yourself that you thought that you wouldn't tip, like not necessarily be learning, you know? Um, like things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you'll deal with, things that you won't deal with. And I feel like that's a really positive aspect of it that you have to remember. Um, but now you're, you're on this path to looking for your person. Um, and I, I feel like they're, it's like they're on the, the wavelength, like you to find this person. Uh, so with the eight of wands, it does feel like you learned a lot. Like there was a lot to learn. There was a lot of obstacles to get over. There was a lot of things to to explore or find out, I feel. Um, and it necessarily wasn't the easiest. Yeah, and I feel like this week, all of those, all those actions that you were taking as a reason, mm, how can I say this? I want to say repercussions is what comes up, but it's like, this happened to me, so this is how I act. You know, I can't trust people, so I'm blocking off everyone. I feel like those little things about yourself are changing. Or you're growing out of that. Um, I see that you have the opportunity to build really strong relationships. But I almost feel like you're focusing more on your career and money than love. It's so interesting because I, I feel like because of this, it's going to just happen. I get this vibe that not this week, but you're on the path to something just happening. Someone coming towards you. Somebody um, bonding with you in a way that you need. It's like it's coming towards you. But but this week, you're, you're basically in the energy of thank you for what happened in the past. Um, I've learned my lesson. I don't want to go through it again. Um, but I'm not taking it to heart in an angry or mean way. Okay. All right. So. We have message and bad health. Two cards again, cup. You should accept valid criticism and birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Be open to change. Capricorn, be open to new ideas. Ace of cups, hangman, lovers, wow.
I feel like somebody you work with at a job or that you connect with on a business level has something to say to you. Um, but I feel like and what I need you to understand is it feels like it's coming from a good place to them. OK. Um, like to them, it's coming from a good place. To you, I feel like you don't know how to process it. And it may be criticism, as it says up there, but I feel like you just don't know. Um, it's like someone says something to you or suggests something and you think about it for a second. So I feel like that's the energy that it gives me. Like you're not going to immediately react, but you're like, let me ponder over this for a second. Turns out that this is a really good choice for you. So I would say within this week, do not take too long to say yes or no. But I really feel like it's a yes to something. Um, it's very interesting because it's coming as like the other side of the coin. So it's coming into me like something that you didn't expect. Something that you didn't anticipate. But it's a good choice. It's a good option for you. Okay. Okay, so we have dice, gambler, risk taker, stuntman, and then donkey. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, reluctant and stubborn. The first thing I thought, I was like, that don't sound like Capricorn. But okay, it's starting to make sense now. Are they? And then we have torch, spiritual development.